Hey everybody, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery. I hope you are doing well. Today's gonna be a short video just to update you all on a few things. There were some things that I posted on Instagram and then realized by a couple comments from people on YouTube that they're like, hey, if you don't mind, post some things here as well because I'm not in on Instagram and I'd love to see them. So I just got a couple updates for you today. So let's go. All right, for the first update, we have the handles on the giant mugs. I know I said I would post either pictures or video of putting these on, uh, and I didn't do either because I, <laughs> putting these handles on was was kind of stressful enough for me. I mean, they're a giant handle. I uh, pulled these handles separately of, uh, and then uh, set them out to dry a little bit before I put them on, and so uh, I did get them attached, and they're uh, they're drying fairly well. I'm drying these super slow just so that they uh, they can attach very well and that they can... Uh, uh, I've already had a little bit of just cracks show up on the top there, but I, I just kind of smoothed that over. Uh, I don't think it's anything that's going to be an issue, but just wanted to uh, show you all the handles on the mugs. Uh, those are some massive handles for mugs, but I wanted to make it look like my mug, just a giant version. So scale was important to me to get them to look right, uh, even at this scale. So uh, I'm super excited about these. And now I'm going to do some slip decoration, and these will be fired here in a couple weeks. Another update is the uh, packages arrived from JTP, John the Potter. Of course, you all probably know John Schmidt is going to be here for, the, uh, for this wood firing. And I'm about to unpack all of these. These pots were uh, pieces that he wanted to glaze and then send that need to go in the back of the kiln. And he's not going to be here until the second day of loading. And so he sent these. These pots have been bisfired and then glazed with his glazes uh, from Mako that we were assured by Mako that they would handle the temperatures that we reached. And then they were bisfired again so that the glaze would stay on. And then he shipped them to me uh, so they'd be here for the loading. And so uh, here we'll get ready, uh, get busy unpacking some of these and see what uh see what they look like they're not going to be impressive at the moment because they're just bisque pots basically with glaze on them so they're probably going to look funky but uh i thought i would update you all and uh show you a little clip of unpacking all these pots well i just videoed the whole unpacking or well tried to video the whole unpacking and got back to my phone and uh it recorded 40 seconds so you don't get the unpacking time lapse, but I will show you all the pieces that I just unloaded. So these are all the uh, the pieces I just unloaded. They're like I said, all bis fired. Some of them uh, I think may not have glaze on them. Some of those bowls back there, uh, but these have all been uh, bis fired, glazed, and then bis fired again. And uh, yeah, like I said, I had all these boxes here, boxes within boxes that I just unpacked, and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a cool little time lapse of me putting all these pieces and <laughs> pulling them out of the boxes. But uh, all you get is the, uh, the finished product of this. And of course, all the videos to come when uh, John gets here and we wood fire and do some other things together. So there you go. Another part of that update would be that I got all of the, just about all the kiln prep done. We got all the finished cleaning the kiln shelves yesterday. There's another stack of them back there. Uh, I had to buy a new grinder to finish that project because it was a, a bit much for my small grinders. We uh, cut and stacked a bunch of these uh, pine strips in these three bins. There's one here and two on the other side of the kiln. Uh, I had some help come yesterday. We also got uh, um, a bunch of the posts uh, kiln washed on the ends. And then, uh, as I said, here's the other two bins over here full of these pine strips that we cut and stacked yesterday. So all in preparation for wood firing, as well as all the hardwood and pine slabs that I already had cut and stacked. They're back over that way. But uh, yeah, kiln prep is pretty much done. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, Samuel, one of the guys that was here helping me yesterday, he also killed the, uh, 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 cl kiln, cleaned the kiln floor. Um, and I think this fire, and I'm actually going to be doing kiln wash on the kiln floor, even some of the wads that we had on the bottom. Uh, stuck pretty bad and also chipped out some of the bricks. So we're going to be uh, actually kiln washing uh, the kiln floor this time so that we get uh, a better result of uh, cleaning it next time. But everything in here is clean. We got to sweep up and then like I said, we'll do some kiln wash. And uh, yeah, things are, uh, things are progressing. 
also have another uh, this fire I'm about to unload from the gas kiln. You can see the glass beads that were in that jar there. They started to melt and drip, but that's all right. And uh, some more cool <laughs> drippy glass beads falling down out of that one there. But uh, that's what they're supposed to do when they get the temperature. But this one is about done. Uh, but I mean, it's cool enough. I can unload it, but uh, uh, I got some other things to do first, but got all those pieces there. We have a bunch of pieces that were already bisked here or uh, are about to be bisque fired, some of those jars. And we got a bunch on this table over here that have been, oh, there's the giant jar or jug. A bunch of piece, pieces here that are already bisque fired and more to make because <laughs> I'm just crazy like that. But uh, uh, I've got a bunch of mugs to make. Here's a couple of these really big platter bowls. And uh, like I said, more to make to make sure it's full. All right, well, there you have it. Like I said, just a short update video. Sorry about the uh, uh, the time lapse on the unpacking. I don't know what happened there, but at least I got to show you the finished <laughs> of the unpacking. Uh, but uh, either way, I'm going to get back to work because I got lots of mugs to make and a few other things. Uh, got, uh, so we're going to start loading in two weeks from today for me. Uh, so I got a little bit more time to finish making stuff and uh, get ready to... Uh, load and fire the wood kiln wood fire number four this time uh, with john the potter as well as all my other help uh, definitely is a is a multi-person project uh this is not something you do by yourself at least not with the size kiln i have and so uh excited for all the help and appreciate all the people that do come and help me with the vi wood firing and uh, appreciate all your uh, support on uh, social media youtube instagram and if you're interested in that if you do instagram go follow me over there it's matthew kelly pottery and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon and we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.